Hello. In this video we're going to look at a type of array called a dictionary or an associative array. So, uh, we know in a one-dimensional array that we just type, for instance, um, name, well actually just in a normal variable, let's say name equals um, mark. So there we go, no great surprises there. So, that is how just a normal variable works. If we were doing a one-dimensional array, we might say that our names by the way, the fact that I've used an S there is immaterial. It's the square brackets there. So I might say that my name, well, my names were Mark, um, and the next one's just going to be Rad. So that is a one-dimensional array. So here is how the associative array works. I'm going to have a variable called Omara, and I'm going to associate it with a value. This time I'm actually storing it in braces. And what I do is I actually define pairs of information, which is called the key and the value. So I might say that first is mark. Then the second value is second. By the way, the fact that I'm calling these first and second is not their place in the array. It's just going to be my second name. So Omara, uh, my height, comma, height. So as you can see, we can put all sorts of data in here. Uh, height, semicolon, I think it's 178 centimetres, could be wrong, uh, 178 centimetres, uh, my age, comma, age, uh, colon 53, so on and so forth. So we go on and we define all of these things. Now, when we want to pull them out of the array, what we actually do is we ask it, so let's say I'm setting a variable called this age, well, I'm going to get it from Omara, and what I'm going to put into Omara, in square brackets, just like I do in a normal array, is if I put in age, there we go, that will go into the array, it will look for the key of age, and it will give me back the value. So if in this situation I were to type print this age, uh, which is, yep, then in this situation, this age equals Omara brackets age, it will go to the value of Omara, it will look in the dictionary or associative array for that key, and it will return 53. If I were to put something like aged in by mistake, then it would return either nothing or the word none. There's not a fixed standard on that. But that's how an associative array works, and, um, and that's how you express it in pseudocode. 